Hi guys, hope you're all well. Uh, this is take two of working with the uh, Pebio Prisme paints. The first one, oh, I might as well tell you now you're here. Look at the state of that. It looks okay, but it didn't react. Uh, and they were quite old pots. So I put some um, of the recommended thinner in them. Um, but maybe they just needed to sit or they were just too old and they just didn't react so I've um, thrown a few pots away um, disposed of properly I might add not just launched in the bin um, and I've got a couple of new pots out so fingers crossed today guys I won't have any issues so before we start now feel free to skip this bit but seeing as I spent um, four days on a course learning how to use this stuff I thought I would just impart <laughs> a little bit of information so uh, we all know the different sorts of Pebios there's the Fantasy Moon that one gives um, some quite nice metallic -y effects within it but it dries like hammered metal uh, there's obviously the Prisme ones. Uh, let me find the right bottle. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Yeah, there we go. There's, excuse me, fingerprints on these. Uh, they're the ones that bloom and make fabulous patterns when you mix the colours and stuff. Um, so you've got the Prisme, the Moon. They also do a ceramic range, which mix beautifully with these other paints and they also do a vitrail set and these also mix really well with the moon and the prisme um, you can also buy a lightning medium so if you've got a quite a dark color um, in the uh, vitrail glass style paints you can thin it down and make a very translucent color have I covered all the paints? Yes, so there's some of the paints that you can use all together if you so wish. Bearing in mind, uh, the Prisma is the one that makes all the pretty stuff happen. The Moon is more of a texture effect and the others are just like a solvent based paint. Right, now, can you see these dots and raised edges in silver? on my piece I've done them with Miction Relief Paste and it stays tacky and let me just grab them you use it with these foils they're all the um, Gedio um, mixed media range um, you use this with foils this is translucent it stays tacky and then you use these foils on to get that lovely uh, foiling effect um, this can take about an hour to dry um, so you do have to wait a bit so I have pre done some which I'll show you in a minute uh, also in that line you can get these CERN relief pastes uh, I've got a black and a transparent to do a few other colours. This will not work with the files, it dries. So you could use the black um, around um, whatever you're uh, putting into if you like to make a lip. Or you can draw pretty patterns on afterwards. And they also do a transparent one. So you could cover that with paints and things or you could use it to mask parts so if you had a you wanted a bit of black saving you could use some of that and make another pretty pattern but it would be translucent so that's the uh, liner paints what's next oh yes and they also do their own resin now you can buy resin cheaper um, they just make this one in the um, Gedio range to go with the paints. Um, it is really cool stuff. 
uh, but as far as I'm aware it's just two part resin it isn't there isn't anything exciting in it it's just a two part resin this came with the kit uh, when I was demoing so it's it is decent quality uh, but you can get your resins cheaper in other places now if you are going to resin over this stuff this takes at least 72 hours to be completely dry it may be touch dry but it will not have um what's the word i'm looking for there is a posh phrase for it i think it's defuming so all the solvent takes a long time to come off uh pebio want you to wait a week before you use their pdo resin on top uh, so i would imagine that any resin you would have to wait at least a week for the solvent in this to dissipate before you trap it in resin um, if you are just drizzling this over for an effect um, I think a week would be fine um, or you know you're covering it a week would be fine as long as um, you know you just have to make sure that this stuff is really really cured uh, so just bear that in mind guys it's not a day process I'm going to be filming over um, well if I put some resin on I might use just a little bit of UV resin then it's quicker um, and drizzle it uh, on a project but I could film over a week if I was using this uh, but as it is I'm probably going to film over two or three days because I need to make sure that the paints are totally dry before I do anything else and is that oh and I just wanted to chuck this in the mix um, in group I did a little chat and I was talking about a um, alpha resin plaster that I use and it's this one it's about eight pounds a box there's a kilogram in it's really good value again if you have a search for alpha plaster um, which is just a very very high quality plaster uh, you know plaster of paris can crumble uh, you can sand this you can it sets like a resin it's fabulous stuff i highly recommend it if you ever want to get into doing um, a few castings for yourself and stuff um, you know you could mix it with your polymer clay and things i just use this a lot when i'm making jewelry it is really 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 good quality um they call it a plaster resin it's that good um so that's another part of the mixed media range that they do and of course there are thousands of things in the range from modeling pastes and things like that that can all in a mixed media setting can all be used together and there would be no reason why you couldn't put um some surface texture on your clay let it dry um if you would like to get some texture in and things it would be perfectly fine because it can be used on all sorts of substrates right i think i've babbled enough uh if you skipped this bit welcome back um so um oh and just a couple of other things i have seen some people saying you must shake this never shake it stir it if you're shaking it i'll show you on this bottle that's been settled can you see how all this is settled in the bottom you are never going to get that to mix by shaking it because all the solids have separated out just grab yourself a cocktail stick or i use these little skewers and they need a really 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 good stir um, before you use them and during you're using them keep making sure you stir them and of course make sure you've got some decent ventilation because it's Dinks this stuff um, after the course that I did I had a migraine because of the fumes um, so just be a little bit wary of that guys it is very very stinky 
it's a bit of a pain to clean up if you get it off quickly you can use acetone and alcohol if it's ever so slightly dried you're going to need white spirit or terps uh, Pebby or do make their own thinner uh, it's called essence of turpentine it is very good stuff I would recommend if you're going to need to thin um, some stuff out because it's gone clumpy um, obviously not to the stage I was trying to do it because it's um, it was unsavable uh, but if they've just gone a little bit thick I recommend the Pebio brand of essence of turpentine um, it doesn't um, evaporate too quick so that because um, what happens is if you just put tips in yeah it would thin it and it would work but it evaporates too quick and you'll get a film before your uh, magic starts to work so just a couple of things there guys to think about before you're using them uh, I'm not putting gloves on my hands are minging as it is look at the state of my nails I don't worry about it it doesn't affect my skin I'm very lucky but wear gloves if you're a bit worried right I'll shut up we'll get on okay so I'm just gonna bring I've made some blanks these are a couple left over from yesterday these are now dry can you see I've made a little um, dam around the outside with this one the sticky one the mix and relief one and I've also put a bit of a funky pattern abstract pattern on uh, I just did a little swirly pattern on this one uh, and I've actually if I can pick it up and show you these are the caps I've made to uh, not the caps you know the base if you like and all I did was um, cut a square out lay over another piece and then cut a bigger square out so that I've left myself this lovely little uh, ridge around the outside and I've actually with my finger run some of the mix and relief around it so I can foil that edge to make it look pretty I've just got a couple of blanks here that we're going to play with and I'm just going to show you uh, because it does take a bit to dry I'm just going to show you the uh, mix and relief what it's like when it goes on so um, it's got a really cool nozzle um, like the harder you press the thicker it'll come out so you it's um, really manageable and you just have to uh, if you go to icing cakes you will be great with this um, you just have to make a well uh, to stop the stuff obviously falling off um, and I'm just going to cover this one and I'll stick it on my radiator so hopefully it'll be dry but I'm just going to uh, oh and you can use this afterwards as well guys so if you've already done a piece and you just want to add a bit of something to it you can add this after let it dry and foil um, what as long as your stuff is properly cured of course our file will stick to the lot of it and you can build it up quite thickly so I've just done that as a little border um, and that'll create a well or you could just as I've said uh, make yourself some little cabs with a border you know you could use a sausage of clay around however you do those type of things I'm just going to get this on a bit of card makes it easy to handle and I'll just pop that on the top of my heater for now hopefully it'll get dried off and I'll be able to use it shortly right let's put the top back on that right on this one I'm just going to show you another technique with the relief pastes because they, they are a really cool thing to get hold of guys um, especially for doing jewelry and stuff so I've just got a stamp here, texture stamp, use, you know, if you've got a nice pattern stamp, I suggest you go around, a, you know, maybe a flower, you could stamp a small flower on. And what we're going to do is just trace the outline. Um, so I'm just going to ink up this stamp. Um, 
you might not be able to see it to be fair guys because it's black on black but I will be able to see it enough to trace around it I'm just going to pop this on and I'm just going to press it into my stamp just to pick up a pattern oh there you can see it in the light right, so now I've stamped that pattern on I'm going to trace that with some of this stuff just let that air off a minute now you could go around with the black uh, uh, and um, just have a little black line if you wanted remember that the coloured ones don't um, they don't stay tacky but I'm going to go around with the tacky I think it's kind of like a form of maybe a form of PVA because it's water based uh, maybe a form of PVA um, that stays tacky all the time so all I'm going to do with this is oh we've got a Doris get down don't need you here with your fluff everywhere down come on miss no 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 not today good girl oh do you know it, I don't know what she'd been doing in here but there was cat fluff everywhere and I was not well I won't swear I wasn't a happy bunny because everything I touched just clouds of cat fluff were popping up uh, she must have been having a really good nibble and a scrat which she's now starting to do again she's got a bit of eczema very mild eczema we have some cream if it flares up um, and I think she's having a bit of flare because the weather's changing and obviously her coat's molting a little uh, so I think I'll give her a good brush later and give her a bit of a treatment with her uh, creams bless her there we go I'll just join that one up while I'm here so yeah this is a really cool thing you can do as well guys if you can be bothered it is a bit fiddly I know uh, but the results look great and you can get that foil in lots of different colors and it's a very good foil um, um it's the it's like nail foil I suppose isn't it the nail foil that you been people have been using on uh, their pieces of work um, it's the stuff that sticks isn't it when you burnish it so that's all this is really I'll just blob that bit in bit of a waste of time that one Ooh. but yeah I've done this uh, I stamped a I'll get it down and show you I stamped a big flower onto um, a canvas and I traced the flower with it um, and then I uh, just making some of these thin ones a little bit thicker guys and then um, I've just painted in with different different paints and it looked quite effective so you could do that on your stamps I suppose uh, on your stamps on your clay uh, you're going to have to bear with me today guys I'm having one of those days where my brain is just not keeping up with my mouth um, just being a little bit uh, out of sorts I think for a couple of days I don't know what's up with me it's funny isn't it we all have you know no matter if you're somebody who's got an underlying illness or not funny how you just have these little off days there we go I'm just going to fill that bit in there because there's not much to create a well with just double check um, I think I'll fill that bit in there that's a bit small 
and I'll fill this bit in too and that bit there just going to fill a few of the smaller pieces in that might not infill very well right that'll do I shall also pop this to one side to dry hopefully uh, we'll catch up with it shortly get it on a bit of card then it's easy to handle I just cut myself up some strips of card guys and it's easy to move them around then and slide them right they're on the heater right I'll show you how this foil works on these that I prepared earlier let's get the silver and there it is um, now I always forget which side down I'm supposed to put this I think I put the I'll, well I'll do it uh, I'll just put the uh, thingy side down the matte side down oh I've got two and you just burnish it where you want it now I've taken this all the way down the sides as well um, can you see yes you can I might as well just overlay the lot mine time instead of faffing faffing about <laughs> Just give it a good burnish with you only need your finger it sticks really well is that the side that's already done yeah I'll just make sure there's no black bits sticking up just give that a burnish and I'm just going to run it over my sides as well make sure they're all caught in so you could stipple this and get different effects uh, you could possibly put it on unbaked uh, onto uh, unbaked clay I haven't tried this sort of foil on unbaked clay before um, just try and make sure I've got those edges done some are better than others looks a bit rustic there that'll do so we've got a nice uh, silver foil on there now to edge our pendant da, da, da. but I like how it works when you do this again I've gone over the sides with this one just to help cover the scrap clay colour burnish everywhere make sure it's stuck get that back piece burnished and this side look at that da, da, da. it's really cool isn't it I love doing this and then I've just got this swirly one which I hope will fit in there there we go this little swirl so yeah you can have good fun with this guys I mean like I say um, I was struggling yesterday because of the dodgy pot and I haven't worked on such a small surface so I was a little bit think fingers and thumbs with it uh, because you know I've been working on um, like small canvas plaques or big canvases for quite a bit of mixed media stuff with it um, there we go and that's the swirl so that's how you use the file with the mixtion relief um, let's put them to one side out the way so I'll just give this a rub make sure it's stuck down Oh, I've missed a little bit there. I feel it sticky with my finger. Is that all covered? I think there's a bit on that one too. There we go. 
all done right so I've got them and I've got these ones um, that I'm just going to leave blank so we'll do the fiddly ones first because they were the ones that I was um, like this one I'd stamped on that with another stamp and traced it round and just put a few dots on and stuff to jazz it up but of course it um, my stuff didn't want to work yesterday did it right I think I'll do um, onyx turquoise and maybe a bit of moonstone on this one uh, so I'll just take the tops off now I did give most of these a really good stir earlier but I am going to just give them another good stir again because as soon as they've sat a minute they start to separate again so it is really important that you give them a good stir up you know make sure you scrape the sides and that you've encapsulated all that stuff that sticks in the bottom and around the edges that's that one this I love this onyx one it's so beautiful yeah I'm not going to use any of the other paints guys I'm just going to use the prisme I may drop a little bit of something in just to add to it but I have just grabbed myself a small little canvas um, and I've just gessoed it black and, and what I'm going to do is um, mix a few of the other paints and pour some on a surface uh, and then I can add a few of the other bits and bobs at a later date and show you all uh, the stuff that I would normally do with it if you like rather than on a very small scale just making sure that I've got this one wasn't very well stirred and I can see a big dollop of mica right there we go so I'm just going to randomly put some of these in some of the different shapes and then I'll go back and drop a little bit of another colour in um, And I just like using a cocktail stick for dripping and stuff. Uh, not cocktail stick, a. Eh? I could control this better, I realised just today. Um, just using a little stick helps me to spread it around easily. Uh, yeah, a few people were giving me tips yesterday in the group because I was a bit. Um, anxious because it wasn't working uh, but like I say I realised it was the state of my um, the age of the stuff that was the issue so even putting a bit of the um, terp stuff in it just didn't work and I only had a tiny bit of terps left so I'm, I am going to on a couple of the pots I am going to um, see if I can salvage them I've ordered some more of the uh, proper terps stuff oh I nearly dripped it then and I did I'll grab a cotton ball in a minute once that's sat in yeah if you're quick you can just get a little cotton wool ball and wipe it off cotton wool bud sorry not a ball cotton wool cotton bud you know what I mean oh the sky's gone black here I think it's gonna absolutely rain cats and dogs and frogs and bats and whatever it might do right just before that starts it's magic I'm just gonna drop A little bit of that in to it 
contrasting colours are amazing in this stuff. As some of you probably have already had a really good play with this, it's just when I posted in group, would anybody like me to do a video? I got an over resounding yes. So I just thought I would um, share a few bits with you. Right, I'll do a bit of this dark now. Oh, that might have been a bit too much. I'm just trying to space these out nicely. Let's put you there. Turquoise, turquoise, square, turquoise. And a tiny drop in that little piece there, right. Now I'm going to put some turquoise in as well. Just give this another stir up. This turquoise is beautiful. The colours are so lovely you could just lick them. And I'm going to put a, a little drop of turquoise in some. I might put a little bit in a couple that we've already put a bit of colour in as well just to see what happens you never know do you you never know and I'm going to fill the other ones with turquoise I'm trying to be careful I don't overfill them all quiet because I'm concentrating <laughs> sorry guys uh, it's the only time I'm quiet if you could see my face I've got my tongue sticking out the side of my mouth as well I'll just let that settle in it while I do these other bits oh that one's definitely had too much on it because it's running into the other one I shall catch that in a minute I think that needs just a tiny bit more in, as does that one. Right, let's just give that a little wipe there, got ya. I definitely put too much in that one. but like I say, easily rectified with a cotton bud and it doesn't really matter does it guys if it overflows a little bit, it overflows a little bit let's just clean that up it's quite easy to catch while it's still runny to be fair um, yeah I was doing my best not to let it run into each other and I think I put a little bit too much in some of these uh, turquoise I might just drop a little tiny drop of this light colour into some of these ones one for you one for you one for you and a bit extra for you Right, let's get these moving to the edges. And then I can nip in and, ooh, don't do it with your fingers, cat. Uh, tissue. 
I can nip in and rescue some of these overspills once I've um, made sure that it's got into the corners. There we go. There we go. And that one's nice. And that one. Oh, and a bit there. And a bit there. And just get that to move down a little bit. There we go. Oh, totally missed that corner. It's funny what you see, isn't it? I'm not going to maul about with this one too much. I just want to see what it does without, um, you know, poking swirling and things you can see it's already blooming um i'm just gonna grab a few cotton wool buds and just clean some of those edges a little bit oh where i put too much in it's um, it's not difficult it's I find it a bit fiddly I think on a small you know using it on a, a small surface uh, because how I've used it before you just throw um, half a pot <laughs> onto uh, a canvas um, and mess around with it that way um, so yeah me and my hands struggle a little bit sometimes with fiddly stuff there that's not too bad is it definitely overfilled a couple of these didn't I how's that looking yeah, once the film starts on top, it won't be too bad, and they won't, they shouldn't move then. Um, it's just hard to see in the light. Right, I'm going to have one more wipe round, and then I'm going to stop messing with it because I will drive myself mad. Mad, 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 just being finicky with it. stop messing that one's really spilled over that one but I'm not going to worry about it guys I can still see quite a bit of the silver um, I can always overline it later as well uh, but you can see some of the bloomings already started like magic so I'm just going to pop this to one side I'll just hold it up and you can see oh god I hope I was I off screen then I hope I wasn't but yeah so I've just mixed on inks moonstone and turquoise we'll see what happens with that when it's had a chance to rest let's clean up some of these cotton buds um, ooh sticky mess oh god they're all stuck to me now uh, just grab a wet wipe and give this surface a wipe while it's not set there we go right um, let's do a couple of these what colors shall I use I've oh, I've got some really lovely uh, I've got the vermilion and the English red here and cinnamon I think they would work nice together in this one 
so again uh, I've, some of these do need a good stir because I've not prepped them properly stupid me um, I'll just get these going here and a layer there and a layer there and see what happens Trying to get a bit of a line going, and then we'll put the vermilion in. Look at me using jazzy colours again. Bet you're all fainting, aren't you? Yeah, the alcohol ink one I did the other day, I just thought, go for it. Let's do some really loud, funky colours. Um, I'm not, uh, as you know, I'm not a overly um, colourful person. Oh, my language might be sometimes <laughs> but my uh, my tastes are very neutral aren't they I think maybe with this one I should have got a lolly stick to help me get it out I know some people use pipettes don't they I've got quite a lot of pipettes uh, but it's a bit wasteful because if you don't can't get them spotlessly clean they clog up and chucking all that plastic in the bin you know I disperve myself enough as it is with some of the things I'd need to put in the bin um, just making sure that's flown into the corners properly before I put a bit more on oh I think this is gonna look quite funky last big dollop of this on there we go and I'm just going to go back and put a little bit more on top of what I've already done just to fill this up a little This vermilion's beautiful, isn't it? It's got a real good gold tone to it. Okay, I think we've got enough in. Let's just get it to flow into that little doodah. And again, I'm just... Oh, I've spilt a bit there. Let's get that wiped off before it sets. Uh, yeah, so I think what I might do is just drag it through drag the colours through each other like this I'll do it that way first uh, tissue, tissue, what did I do with it? a bit of wet wipe will do and then I'm just going to drag this back the other way So it's kind of making that feather pattern if you can see 
there we go and then we'll let that sit and do its magic just hold it up for you so you can see what I've done I hope to god I've not been off screen all this whole time um, I've just dragged down one way and back the other so we'll pop this down and let it do its magic oh the other one's gone going bonkers already look at that Woo! it's working right I've just got these two left now then what colors I've got some nice green and blue and maybe some gold um, what I'll do guys I'm just gonna pause it and I'm just gonna go and give uh, everything I want to use in the next two pieces or three pieces even um, a really good stir up um, then um, you're not sat watching me for 10 minutes because they really do need a good mix in some of these I've never even opened them um, right I'll see you when I'm in here and a layer there and a layer there and see what happens trying to get a bit of a line going and I'll put the vermilion in look at me using jazzy colours again bet you're all fainting aren't you yeah, the alcohol ink one I did the other day, I just thought, go for it. Let's do some really loud, funky colours. Um, I'm not, uh, as you know, I'm not uh, overly um, colourful person. Oh, my language might be sometimes <laughs> but my uh, my tastes are very neutral aren't they I think maybe with this one I should have got a lolly stick to help me get it out I know some people use pipettes don't they I've got quite a lot of pipettes uh, but it's a bit wasteful because if you don't can't get them spotlessly clean they clog up and chucking all that plastic in the bin you know I disperve myself enough as it is with some of the things I'd need to put in the bin um, just making sure that's flown into the corners properly before I put a bit more on oh I think this is gonna look quite funky last big dollop of this on there we go and I'm just going to go back and put a little bit more on top of what I've already done just to fill this up a little This vermilion's beautiful, isn't it? It's got a real good gold tone to it. Okay, I think we've got enough in. Let's just get it to flow into that little doodah. And I 
again I'm just oh I've spilled a bit there let's get that wiped off before it sets uh, yeah so I think what I might do is just drag it through drag the colours through each other like this I'll do it that way first uh, tissue tissue what did I do with it a bit of wet wipe will do and then I'm just going to drag this back the other way so it's kind of making that feather pattern if you can see there we go and then we'll let that sit and do its magic just hold it up for you so you can see what I've done I hope to god I've not been off screen all this whole time um, I've just dragged down one way and back the other so we'll pop this down and let it do its magic oh the other one's gone going bonkers already look at that woo it's working right I've just got these two left now then what colours I've got some nice green and blue and maybe some gold um, what I'll do guys I'm just going to pause it and I'm just going to go and give uh, everything I want to use in the next two pieces or three pieces even um, a really good stir up um, then um, you're not sat watching me for 10 minutes because they really do need a good mix in some of these I've never even opened them um, right I'll see you when I'm in okay guys everything's had a good stir look at my finger a bit bloody swollen up that tomorrow um, right I just looked back and made sure I was a bit low but I wasn't off screen just have to remember to keep everything up there right um, I'm going to do that one last I think because I'm not too sure what colours I want to put in uh, with this one I'm going to use emerald antique gold and turquoise um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a thin layer of antique gold in the bottom then lay my other colours over and swirl it um, and see what happens basically so let's get a good dollop of this going in here it's a bit laborious this guys I know sorry not what you can do about it this is the less messy way of me doing it I'm trying not to get any on my sides Right, I'm just going to push this layer around and make sure there's a bit everywhere and be mindful that I'm not going off screen again do you know I'm useless aren't I I get that involved in what I'm doing sometimes I forget that I'm still filming <laughs> right that's a nice layer of that everywhere let's, let's tap it to get it going let's get that bit off I spilled oh that was bright dunked my finger in it and dragged it over believe it or not my desk is supposed to be level uh, but I think this may have curled a little bit as it's cooled off should have put them in water as I normally do right green might try just pouring it a little bit to get more in there we go green in that end
turquoise in that end. And then I'm just going to run it through a bit first and then do some swirling and hopefully that gold will pop up. There we go. That's all I'm going to do with that one. I'm going to have to put a little bit of that liner around this one. Because um, it's sneaking there. Where's my liner? I'm just going to pop a little bit of liner down there, guys, in the hopes that it. helps that edge a bit there right I shall pop this to one side on a bit of card we'll see what happens with that one in a minute oh come on got it stuck uh, just clean my hands a little bit because I've got that liner everywhere. And I've got Marina, Moonstone, and Onyx for this one. And I think I will just fill it with Moonstone and then do some drops of. Um, the other colours. So let's get this going. it's all to the edge don't want any air bubbles spoiling it Just give it a tap to get it level quicker there and now I'm just going to put some drips of different colours in This um, marina, I think it's um, what do they call it? Like two tone. I'll put a drip in the middle of that one, drip in the middle of that one, and a drip in the middle of that one. Get a bit more on. And now I'm just going to go back. No matter what gap I've got. I can see what I can uh, drip in. So I'll put another one there. And another one there. Oh, that was a big drip. And I'll pop one in the middle. And again, I'm going to overlay it with the marina. Um, one of uh, our ladies and she's also a friend on Facebook bless her uh, Caro um, was saying don't get attached to what the pattern you've made um, because it it just evolves while it's drying and it's so true I've noticed that when I've been trying to do something with a mixed media and try and get a certain effect and it just um, <laughs> it just never comes 
it evolves of its own accord you can you can't make it do anything uh, but you can see now these are all blooming and mixing look like little cells quite cool isn't it I'm just going to manipulate it a bit to get those cells to fill that gap not that it might work but you never know right I think I might just put one tiny drop in that other bit I, again I know I can't control it much but you don't know till you try do you with these different effect things just put a tiny drop in there there we go I'm happy now <laughs> right we'll see how this one turns out Again, I've got a bit of card. I'm running out of space. Everything seems to be okay anyway, so my desk over there is not too wonky. Right, this one. Oh, I don't know what to do. I might just use some green and gold. Um, turquoise and gold or green and gold? I'll just use green and gold. And I'll just go around and then I'll drip some antique gold in. Um, I'll just go around my swirl if you like with it. This might take a bit of time because I don't want to overfill it. need to drag that bit a bit then it doesn't overflow there we go Yeah, with this um, relief paste, um, you can just make some really interesting, and you can overlay it. So you could um, always do this after. You know, if you've got a, a cab with a um, a cab, you know what I mean, a blank with a lip. Once it's dry, you could put some of this stuff over the top afterwards. And it's really cool stuff. And I know the black and the translucent are mainly to use with the uh, glass paints. But um, I think us mixed media people have pinched them. Um, it's not something I've ever done either. I don't know if any of you guys have. You know, using the glass paints and stuff. I've seen some beautiful things done with them. Uh, you know, I'm... Uh, glasses and jars and people make beautiful tea light holders and don't they like beautiful stained glass patterns uh, but it's not something I've ever got into um, again possibly it's due to the fact that I think it's a bit fiddly and as you know I don't do fiddly very well Just making sure that this is up to the um, barrier. I need to wipe a bit off over there. It's running off. There we go. I think got most of my spots and if I haven't I'm sure it will then get into them just get a cotton wool bud and just take some of this off here where I put it on a little bit too thick and I'll just do the same on this spot here because it's just running a little bit just take some of that excess off 
because I don't want it overflowing once I've uh, put a few drops of gold in. So I'm just being mindful of that. There, right, we've got a nice swirly pattern. Oh, I seem to have a bit more that's escaped there. There we go. I'll just give it a tap just to try and get it level then I know it's not going to spill anywhere may have to touch that bit up there a little bit because it looks a bit full in fact let's do it now let's just get some of that off and just fill that bit back in there we go right I'm now just going to put a couple of drops of gold in and I may just drag me a uh, tool through it. There we go. Oh, let me get the excess. No, in fact, use the other one, Kath, that you've been using that isn't covered in paint. I'm just going to drag my tool through to get some gold everywhere. to mix with the green a little bit there have a nice randomy swirly pattern again I don't know what this is going to do but we shall see once it's dry I don't think it's going to over spill anywhere I think I've uh, done quite well with that one right oh I've run out of bits of card I'll put it with the other one. Oh my goodness I'll just before I go um look at this one the blooms on this one now that's gone a bit bonkers uh this one here looks amazing that was the three bands that i just dragged into each other this one the gold has popped up can you see it blooming up golds joining in and last but not least here's the cell like one that I did that looks pretty cool as well doesn't it oh sorry um, so now then they're gonna take well they're not going to be touch dry for a while um, so I can't really do anything to them um, these bits here are not quite dry the, that goes transparent when it's dry so I'll probably fill these ones in off camera guys and just so you can um, see what other bits and bobs I've done with them uh, but uh, for you I'll only be a second but for me I'll be maybe a day or two <laughs> behind so I shall see you all shortly. Bye.